Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and we are back inside Lumber Tycoon 2 private server because a lot of you have been asking questions like, Code, why haven't you been building on your little bridge thing? What? Why did you all of a sudden? Well, because it's kind of pointless at the moment. I mean, the whole point is to, like, build that bridge so I can go across and get some of the, the fur, the glow fur wood stuff, right? But, I mean, there's this amazing glitch that is happening right now where you can go and get it <laughs> um, I apologize to Xbox and PlayStation users and Wii users and console users um, because you don't get this awesomeness this is PC only as far as I can tell um, anyhow yeah you can just drive down there and go get the fur wood for now um, I have not told Defaultio about it I don't know if I'm going to tell him Sorry, default you. <laughs> With a glitch this good, it's too amazing. Anyhow, uh, and and that's no offense. I mean, it's if if one of you guys tells them or if somebody messages them or something like that, then I mean that's cool. It's okay. And if it gets fixed, you know, it happens. But at the moment, there is no reason that you guys can't come down here and grab some of the wood. I mean, just remember to give respects to Tic Tac. Moment of silence. She will never get the chance to play down here. She won't get the chance to um, retrieve her donated wood, the, the fur wood itself. So, she will never have the chance to get a Manny Axe. So, we pay respects. And that's just something that I would like to start doing. Not that you have to do that. You do not have to drop off anything. Okay? So don't don't feel bad if you oh gosh, I can't I can't move. Hold on. There's gotta be a better way to put that in there. I'll open this up. There we go. Hope that attaches to the truck. Oh, 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 dear, 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 dear. Hold on. It's still hanging on. <laughs> I didn't realize how big this thing is. That's crazy. All right, come on, come on, buddy. Oh, okay, let's just pivot it around like that. And then maybe we can toss it backwards like that. Maybe toss it up like this. There we go. Come on. Oh man, this thing is not wanting to stabilize. There we go. Stabilized. <clears throat> now my recommendation is not to try and do it in one massive piece and probably chop it into a truckload. And then attempt to take that truckload, but oh come on, seriously. Hold on, can I just toss this thing? Wee. Come on. Wee. That kind of works. It's actually really hard to see down here. Just toss it onto the truck. Wee. Toss onto the truck. <laughs> Do 
Just hope it gets stuck in the cab. Fucking didn't work. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it back up in one piece because I want to I want to use my mod saw on on it. Actually, you know what? Oh, I'm I'm not gonna be able to walk this thing, am I? Walk like an Egyptian. Um, here, tell you what, let's go ahead and, well, no, no, I don't want to do that. I want to take the whole thing. <laughs> okay. You know what? Go ahead and just do this. We'll just chop this piece off. I'll make two pieces. And then that should allow us to drop this here. And then drop this one. Oh, it's still super heavy. There we go. Ah, oh, ah, oh, come on. Just do this. Let's just take one at a time, because I mean, obviously, that's you poop, 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 poop. What I love is the floor is just like a sandbar. Like, it's, it's got the same qualities, like if you were coming into a cave and there was a river flowing through it, it would have these little, like, wavy up and downs on the cave floor itself. Well, depending on the shapes and stuff, but definitely would. There we go. Here, let's just jump this out. We'll jump right here. Do, 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 do. Carry this up. Drop it down. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Grab. Come on. <laughs> By the way, I figured out the secret of the, uh, the grab. Uh, strictly through observations of what I see on the game and through confirmation of what I asked Defaultio. I now know how things move from grabbing them. Basically. The one part I don't have down yet is uh, network ownership, which I will get. I will figure that out. <coughs> I know how to do network ownership because that's how I use the um, the ships on um, Theus on my game. As I pass the network ownership of the the ship forcefully to the player. So. So hopefully I can I can actually do a video about it. That'd be pretty cool. Pretty amazing. I think so. I, I like to look at the bright, bright side of things. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone, for your uh, your kind words and comments on yesterday's reaction video. I know it was not Lumber, and it won't get the same views and responses like Lumber, because you guys love Lumber Tycoon 2. You're like, oh my goodness, God, you're so good at it. What is this about? You are... Sorry, I'm kind of sounding like Winnie the Pooh there. Oh no! Christopher Robin! <laughs> God likes to play <laughs> Lumber Tycoon 2. I've got a rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> he doesn't sound exactly like that, but it's close. It's close enough. <laughs> I go up, down, all around, in the mood for lumber. The 
the wonderful thing about tiggers. Our tiggers are wonderful things. The tops are made of the rubber. The bottoms are made of the springs. Hmm. Because of the way that this is, I'm going to have to chop this one right here off, aren't I? And then, come on. Hold on, i got to move that over. Moving on up. Alright, this needs to go in there. Like, ooh, that's not good. Hold on, come on. Oh no. I don't think it's long enough. Oh no. It's not the direction I wanted you to go in there. Hold on, is there any way to get it back out? Get out of there. Get out. Get out, get out of there. Get. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, that's the way. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I lumber. Uh huh, uh huh. There it goes. That's what we wanted. Alright, now move and be. Oh, it's just not long enough, is it? It's like, oh, please, please. Oh, no. That is not going to work. Oh man, oh man, it's like right there, it's like right there, Scoob! Okay, you know what, we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to chop this off right here, that's all there is, and that's that, oh it's beautiful, 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 <clears throat> Plank wood. All right, you go in. No need to uh, do some craziness on that one. Well, that one maybe, maybe, maybe. It's not long enough. Here, hold on. Let's put a piece of palm over here. We'll jump up to this. Whoops. Oops. Maybe I need to stair step it. There we go. That's not fitting. That is not fitting for a piece of glow wood. Alright. Uh oh. Need to chop a little bit more. Get that out of there. Get these in. Why is it stuck? There it goes. That other piece is going to be stuck, so we're just going to open that up. Close it back down. There we go. Yellow wood all around. <sighs> so because of its shape, you can't really mod saw it. I mean, you might be able to get these pieces to mod saw, but that's it. Can't really do a full piece. You'd have to find the perfectly grown trees for that, and the ones with the really long limbs, the ones that have been growing for a while. But as we saw from the other video, they won't they won't saw correctly, or they won't grow the way that you're expecting. Scoob. Oh, hello. Hello, little piece in the back. How are you? Wee. See if that actually. That did not blink. So. See, it's. Oh, it is there, isn't it? Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, that works. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
King Joe. Oh, I was gonna make a palm thingy. I forgot. That's okay. We've got plenty of years to play some Lumber Tycoon 2. And I doubt Defaultio is gonna be updating anytime soon, but if he does, it's gonna be something for Easter. He normally doesn't do anything for Easter. It's usually like Christmas and Halloween and stuff like that. And at random he'll throw puzzles and stuff at Lumber. I really like the puzzles. We need more puzzles. I think the best one was the, uh, the pixels. Because, I mean, that was a really hard puzzle just for a Squidward painting. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, what's this about? It's amazing. Turned out to be a Squidward painting. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Oh man. Oh man. Oh baby, we got it. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. And with my build skills, that's the, the most that we will probably ever need. I'm just kidding. We could probably run out. I'd have to make something yellow, though. Maybe a Pac-Man? You guys want me to do a Pac-Man, maybe? Possibly? It's a possibility. Anyhow, uh, the main point of this was to show that you can still go down and, and use the glitch to get into the the maze and stuff like that. Or not the maze, the, the water cave. And yeah, I mean, I did this in about 17 minutes. It's a really long time to try and grab these though. So let's try a little bit different method. By the way, I've found that driving backwards is so much easier when you watch where you're going. <laughs> Turn on some lights. Never really gotten to explore, like, under the waters through here. You know? Let's just jump out right here. I've always felt like there's been more of a secret down here, but it's not true. I mean, there's nothing else down here except her memorial. And <laughs> I'm not sure that the platforms do anything. tree growing in the wall. <clears throat> By the way, these trees don't grow anymore after they grow up. And I don't think these die. These trees, once they're grown, they'll stay there until they're cut down. Or at least that's my observation. I could be wrong. Let's see here. I'm trying to find one that's really straight. Or has a really straight edge. 
That one will work, but I'll have to cut two of the limbs off. Here. Let's just go ahead and do this one. Instead of driving it, I'm just going to walk this one back. I feel like it would be quicker than trying to drive it the whole way. By the way, the first time I heard Swimmy Textures by Kevin Maclio, which is who is currently playing right now, um, it was the green box placed in the um, in the volcano by Defaultio. I did it on live stream, and it was an overwhelming, powerful emotional song for what I had just done because I had I had been playing for a while and it was like my sixth attempt to try and get through the um, <clears throat> the green box maze I mean nowadays I could probably do it no problem I haven't done it in a while ooh that could be something that I need to do with this character Need to take him through and get the green box. Do you guys want to see the green box? I mean, it has been a while, and I've got a lot of new, a lot more new subscribers that may not know what the green box is. Oh, come on! Why is this not flipping up? Okay, get up there. Get up there. Okay, you know what? This is just not working. We're just gonna we're just gonna roll it from here to try and get it up this little mountain mountainous area. Oh, that's easier. Hey, good. Why don't you just pick it up? Because it doesn't exactly pick up. I gotta go that way. Come on. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh goodness. Here we go. This will be quicker. Because now we're going downhill. Come on. This is taking forever. Yeah, you're right. This is beyond comparison the slowest trek I have ever taken. Mm. Uh oh. And it's begun contestation. That means no contest. You cannot contest it.
Ooh, there we go. Yay. Has a weird flip to it. Normally when you flip trees, like, they just flip straight over your head. These don't. They, like, have this weird spinny thing that happens. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Seriously. Just, just go. Just go this way. Just go. Just go. What if I grab right in the middle? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry about the no commentary. Like, this is. I'm just very frustrated that this is taking foreverly long. Okay. Okay, that works. Don't know why that's working now. Why don't we just walk sideways with it? It's a good idea, Code. Could probably do that, no problem. What about walking up with it? No? Maybe not walking up. And, in fact, that's going to be a little difficult. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. We might have to walk around with this. Which is going to be ridiculous. Hold on. Wait, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it to rotate, but then keep the grab on it. So I can cont Okay, this just... Mm -hmm. We're just going to walk with this. It was fun. It was nice. No more playing. You're, we got we to gotta, we gotta get this thing moving. Come on, come on. Why is it all of a sudden stuck now? Really? Okay, now we're moving sideways. We're, we're doing like a little side shuffle thing. And apparently it works. <clears throat> I don't know why this is working. Um, I can tell you that the mass of the tree is forcing against the little blue ball. The little blue ball has got a body mover on it that is trying to get to the position of the mouse. The, uh, the force behind it should be about 4,000, 4,000, 4,000. That's the max force on XYZ coordinates. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, then that's okay, don't worry about it. For those of you that do know what I'm talking about, that's what's making the objects move. The object moving does not require filtering enabled. Because of the body mover inside the blue ball. <clears throat> I have a feeling we're gonna hit that ramp and it's just it's we're gonna lose it again. We're gonna get to the bottom of this ramp and it's just it's gonna be like, nope, sorry, can't walk up with it. Too much gravitational force. Oh, 
Okay, maybe not. Maybe I was completely wrong. Alright, we're gonna get it out of the water and it's gonna be like, nope, sorry, too much gravitational force. We got stuck. We got stuck. We got stuck. That was my fault. My bad. Hold on. There. Whew. We are at 30 minutes and I've gotten two trees. <laughs> By the way, this would be so much easier without having to uh, worry about um, making the large, the mod saw plank version of it. Like if I were to just go up there just to get regular, regular wood plank it out and be okay with it, then we probably could have gotten a lot more. Just saying. Oh, but that's okay. Hold on one second. I got a I got a heater that's down here. There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> My legs are burning. It was cold earlier. It's warm now. <clears throat> Warmed up in the afternoons. Crazy. Summertime and weather's easy. <clears throat> I just want my truck. I'm ready for a truck. Come on. Come on. Get over. Alright, can we try the flippy thingy again? Flippy thingy? We can bouncy thingy. Flippy thingy. It's a little easier. Flippy thing. Do the flip. Do the do the thing. Do the do the thing. Hmm. What if I take right here? Turn, 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 turn. Push down. That was a good distance, kinda. And down. And over and just drag, 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 drag. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, good distance. What in the world was that? Do you see that? I keep thinking like, oh, I'm getting closer to the shop. Well, no, we're we're just now behind the shop. We're not around the shop. What was that? I think I'm. A, I think it was a particle effect that was in front of my camera, but I could have sworn I saw somebody walking out there, like walking across. Whoa. Did anybody else just get that creepy feeling? Okay. Like the hairs on the back of my neck just stood up. Did you guys? I don't know if you guys felt that. No clickbait. Promise. That was... <laughs> don't play Lumber Tycoon 2 at 3 a.m. Challenge. Just kidding. I, I can't believe that those videos are still happening. Okay. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about. 3 a.m. challenges don't matter on the internet. Because guess what? It's 3 a.m. somewhere right now. As this video releases. As you watch it this hour. In another hour, it's going to be 3 a.m. somewhere else. So the fact that 3 a.m. is this special number that's like, no, that is a time constraint inside human ID, ID, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a thing that only matters to the person at 3 o'clock. Like, there's no special meaning behind the 3 a.m. stuff. So the fact that you've got people like, oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? You are scaring yourselves. There, there's, uh 
Come on, people. You should know better. Mm. That's just... I don't know. That's beyond me. 3 a.m. challenges. So I get to make fun of them. Because I know better. And you should too. Now, after seeing this. I mean, they're still fun to watch because they're just funny and people... Oh! <laughs> and no offense, Guava Juice, you're the worst of them. <laughs> you are the biggest offender of the 3 a.m. challenges that I've ever seen. And my daughter and son just can't get enough of them. I'm like, guys, you know they're not real. And they're like, I know they're not real. But you watch them anyway. Is that like wrestling? Ooh, I, I'm sorry. For all the wrestling fans out there... <laughs> I'm just making enemies left and right today. <laughs> Code Primate loses 50,000 subscribers <laughs> due to comments made on his channel today. <laughs> Please don't unsub. Stay with me. I'm almost there. I'm almost to my base. Just a little bit further. And I'm I I am never one to actually hate on anybody or to call anybody out, but uh, and that I, I don't I've not done that. So guava juice, I'm sorry. I apologize that you were the first person that I've ever like blatantly called out on my channel. Ugh. I mean, you're still a content creator and you're still a YouTuber, and, and like I should respect that. I respect you for your content. If anybody happens to know Guava Juice and you can get a hold of him and he watches this, please, please, Guava Juice, don't, don't be mad at me. I promise, it's all in good fun. He probably wouldn't. He'd look at this and be like, this guy has 100,000 subscribers? I got like, what, 6 mil? Actually, how many does Guava Juice have? Uh, YouTube.com. Guava Juice... <laughs> Literally, the first <laughs> recommended search was Guava Juice 3 a.m. <sighs> wow. All right, so his channel. Hi! My Hi! Name is Roy. Shh, shh, Roy. Shh, quiet, dude. 13 million. 13 million subscribers, Guava. And you've got Guava Toys. You've got the Slime Blaster. you got the DIY Slime. Uh, no sponsorship. You got it now at Target. Hey, my book's at Target. Hey, it's not on the shelf, but your stuff is like on the shelf, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should start doing that. Should I start doing like slime challenges or um, 3 a.m. challenges? Trust me, guys. Those would be so boring. It would be 3 a.m. and you'd be like... Don't play Roblox at 3 a.m. And I'd just be like, there's nothing happening at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, that's also one of the reasons I don't do reaction videos. Like, um, and th not reacting to real things and, and like my stuff. I'm talking about like the meme challenges, the don't laugh challenges. Even in the don't laugh challenges, I'd just be like, <laughs> huh. And I mean, it, it would be very... Un, I can try one, and but I'm telling you, there's like no reaction to me. It would be so boring for you guys, and I don't, I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, we're going to do a reaction video today, and and then like, <laughs> thirty minutes later, you guys are like, dude, that was so boring. All right, how are we gonna do this? This right here, will, will this work? Let's do this. Let's do this one right here. Okay. So, I have to flip this up. Flip this up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Maybe I can convince PewDiePie to do a collaboration with me or something. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! See, the, and this is what happens at 3 a.m. I'm just kidding. It's like. 10.30. <laughs> okay, that's what I was going for. That's that's what I wanted. I wanted the pillar of awesomeness. 
And again, no disrespect to Tic Tac and her memorial. No disrespect to Defaultio. And I hope you guys didn't get offended by me going down there and collecting up the wood. Because, I mean, that's the whole point that I was trying to make with the, the bridge in the first place. Is giving you guys the ability to go down there and collect the yellow wood. Um, because of the glitch that is happening now, go for it. Go grab some wood. If you want to leave tribute, go for it. Or, it's not tribute. It's, um... Pay respects, I guess. If you want to pay respects and it, anything, drop off a piece of yellow wood to her, um, put an item of your choice. And, like, even if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. If you want to go pick up, like, a wire or a, a light or anything in lumber and give it to her, that's fine. The value uh, the, of the item doesn't matter. It's not for her. It's for you. Does that make sense? <sighs> Leaving something for someone that has passed is more like a sign of respect that you want to show the person. Not that they require or not that they need, but for yourself. Why is there chat? Jingle! <laughs> Have you started yet? Oof, okay, we'll talk to you tomorrow night night. Jingle! I'm sorry. I didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> Maybe there was somebody walking around in the background. <gasps> Jingle, was that you? Did I see Jingle in the background and I just missed it? Or... Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Anyhow, I'm gonna get out of here. It's It's been 42 minutes. Which is way longer than the 30 minutes I promise you guys all the time. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But remember, it's your choice. You don't have to. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we will talk to you very soon. Outro.